Good evening, everyone. I'm Deidre Keller, Dean and Professor of Law at Florida A&M University College of Law. I am so pleased to welcome all of you to our Judges Gallery unveiling. Tonight, we will present photos of 16 past and present judges who are graduates of FAMU College of Law. We will also pay tribute to past and present judges who are graduates of FAMU. This unveiling program is one of several we are hosting as we celebrate 20 years of operations in Orlando. Now, why is this event important? For the answer to that question, we turn to the senior most judge honoree, the Honorable Perker Meeks, a graduate of the original College of Law. Judge Meeks, sent these remarks about why law students need to see alumni judges as they walk the law school hallways. Quote, judges are as informed by their colleagues on the bench as those who aspire to the bench. So it's important for students to know who the judges were who once stood where they did, because therein lies an opportunity for both the student and the judge to exchange thoughts, ideas, opinions, and perspectives with one another. And both are better for it. So our purpose tonight is not only to honor the alumni judges, but also take action that serves to educate and inspire the next generation of lawyers and leaders. We are confident that this gallery of judges photographs will do just that for many years to come. This event is something that's definitely past due. It's a wonderful event, and it's just the idea and the thought of having a wall with family judges, current judges and past judges, and just the thought of having our law school turning 20 years old is just a wonderful feat. In this world, we talk about making it to the level of judge. Because as a judge, you have an opportunity to make decisions. You have an opportunity to change lives. As a lawyer, you have an opportunity to change lives. That is the business equivalent to having a seat at the table. So I, again, I'm just humbled to be here. I'm ecstatic that we have our law school and that we've turned 20 years old. And just thank you all once again for coming. But 80% of the African-American judges in this country, 80%, that's eight out of every 10, came through somebody's historically black college or university, all right? That's a pretty amazing statistic when you think about it. Eight out of every 10. And so obviously, we're in that number, right? Obviously, we're in that number. I do want to make sure that you realize, though, although we appreciate it and, and we fought hard for this law school to be returned, 20 years ago, the law school actually started with its first class in Tallahassee in 1951. And I don't want anybody to ever forget that, right? There are rappers out there who have been doing wonderful things for generations before some of us were born, including yours truly. But this group, this whole idea, you know, of having them acknowledged so that every student coming into this law school and every visitor coming into this law school can see what this institution is doing in 2022, I think, has tremendous value. So congratulations to all of you, right? And I'm so proud. You probably noticed that whenever I got your announcement that was out there on Twitter and so forth, sending it out because it makes me proud. You give me so much to brag about, and that's all the president does, is brag about the great graduates of this institution, or her institution in this case, Florida and University. Thank you very much. To begin our recognition, we will ask the judges who are in attendance to please join us up here when your name is called. We will present each judge with a replica of their respective portraits that we will later unveil in the judges' gallery.
please turn your attention to the screen as we recognize some of the FAMU alumni judges.